Okay, let's begin. Hello, hello everybody. Welcome. It's nice to have you one more time on this beautiful day. We have Wednesday. Wednesday, September 27th, 2023. We're going to keep learning this thing that is called English. So thank you so much for being here. It's my pleasure. As you may know, today we're going to have class number three. Uh, we're going to work also with section number two, which is we had a great time. Uh, this section, which is section two, uh, is pretty heavy. Okay, so my suggestion, my suggestion is like, um, try to uh, find more information in your free time about this section because it's about past tense. Yes, yeah, so past tense is very extensive. And we won't be we won't be able to cover uh, let's say um too much in this one. Yes, we will see uh, uh, uh past uh tense, but um we are going to like um let's say uh, practice as much as we can. But but my recommendation is like try to find out. Uh, more information and, and a little bit more practice by yourself, so you can um get extra practice on the on this topic, which is which is past tense. Okay, thank you so much for being here. Uh, again, we're gonna work with section number two. We had a great time. Gonna work with pass of B, and this is pre intermediate module number two. This is class number three. So welcome everybody. It's nice to have you and let's begin. Okay. We're going to have this activity first. Let's take a look of this one. Okay. Um, please, um, Ana Cristina Peña de Paz, please read, read this uh, free time activities, please. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, teacher. Good evening. Uh, free time activities, uh, social media, uh, dancing, listen to music, play video games, read, relax, spend time with with friends and family, watch TV. Thank you so much, right? At the beginning, we have check social media, check, and go dancing, right? Very good. Uh, what activities, Freddy, do you do in your free time? From this in the picture. From these in the picture, which ones do you do? Good evening, teacher. Welcome. Nice to have you. Which activities um, do you do? Um, I practice listen to music. Oh, okay. Um, and What's... well, read. Okay. Um, um, relax with oh. with classic music. Oh, that's good. That's good. Very good. Uh, Thank um, you. And watch TV too. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Thank you so That's much. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Uh, I'm glad to hear that. Claudia, Yesenia Flores. Yes, teacher. Uh, good evening. Tell me, uh, what are the activities that we have here in the list that you usually do? I usually do um, check the social media, uh, listen to music, um, watch TV. And sometimes I go dancing. And sometimes I spend time with my friends and family too. Oh, thank you so much. Very good. Thank you, Sandra Noemi. Hello, good evening. Thank you so much. Good evening. Uh, what are your favorite three times uh, uh, free time activities? In my free time activity, I check social media and listen to music and watch TV and spending time with my friends and my family. Oh, that's good. 
Okay. Um, do you have an activity that you don't like, Jorge Mauricio Gutierrez? Like something that you, you do, but you don't like it. What is that? Eh, sería una de las que no me gustan, me dijo, ¿verdad? Exactly, exactly. Uh, go dancing. Oh, okay. Play video games. Oh, that's good. Thank you. And watch TV. Oh, okay. Thank you so much for sharing that. Very good. Ronald, hello, Ronald. And Rafael, thank you. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I, I am very, very tired. Oh, I'm sorry to hear about it. Okay. Yes. I have a question for you. Tell me three time activities, free time activities that you do. I read, um, listen to music, and watch TV. Oh, perfect. Thank you so much. Very good. Uh, question for uh, Jacqueline, Vanessa. Ban uh, Jacqueline, how often do you go dancing? Good night, teacher. Um... I I don't practice th this activity, that oh, activity. So yeah. you, you don't go dancing? No, I don't go dancing. Oh, okay. What about video games? How often do you play video games? Mm, I think um, once a week. Oh, thank I... you. So good evening. Nice to have you. Thank you. My pleasure. Evers. Perdomo. Hello, Evers. Welcome. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm good. And you? Oh, can't complain. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, how often do you play video games, Evers? Uh, I never play video games. Why? Because I don't like, and I guess it's a uh, it's loss lose the time for me it's a waste of time okay yes, what is what is one free time activity that you do um in my free time i usually spend time with my friends and family oh i relax nice. i relax and i listen, listen to music too oh very good. what's your favorite music i like the mariachi music Oh, mariachi. Okay. Yes. Thanks so much. Yes. Uh, like okay. Don Chente, right? Mm, no, Don Chente, no. Oh, that's mariachi. Okay. <laughs> no, no. Uh, uh, Christian music. Christian music. Oh, oh okay. I'm mariachi, sorry. Mariachi, Christian music. Oh. Yes. Oh, oh, okay. I apologize. Okay. Yeah. But, but Chente is good too. I, I yeah. recognize it. Uh, thank you so much. Very good. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank okay. you. Perfect. Okay. So uh, these are like, as you may know, free time activities. Uh, and there is one important thing here that we need to take into account, which is um, verbs. If you see here, we have the verb check, go, listen, play, read, relax, spend, and watch. So these are simple present verbs, as you may know. And we're going to use these ones, but in past tense. Okay? So the same verbs, however, this one goes with past tense. Okay? Uh, we're going to have this conversation here. Please, Daniela, do me a favor and describe the pictures uh, on the screen. Thank you. Okay, um, I see a woman who is maybe dancing and the other person is a boy and he's reading. Thank you so much. Can you please read the title of the conversation? Yes, um, conversation. What did you do last weekend? Okay, do you understand the title, people? Yes. Do you understand the, the title? Janessi Alexandra Lopez, do you understand the title? Is what did you do last weekend? 
Yes. Cases de la semana pasada. Exactly. That's very good. So this is about past. Everything that we have in past. Okay. Last weekend is a time expression for past tense. Yeah. Last weekend. Let's take a look at this conversation between Neil and Kara. Let's listen and read. Unit 7. We went dancing. Page 44. Exercise 2. Conversation. What did you do last weekend? Part A. Listen and practice. So what did you do last weekend, Kara? Oh, I had a great time. My friends and I had pizza on Saturday, and then we all went dancing. How fun. Did you go to the treadmill? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our test is today? I forgot about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. Unit 7. We went dancing. Page 44. Exercise 2. Conversation. What did you do last weekend? Part A. Listen and practice. So what did you do last weekend, Kara? Oh, I had a great time. My friends and I had pizza on Saturday, and then we all went dancing. How fun. Did you go to the treadmill? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our test is today? I forgot about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. Thank you so much. So, Jocelyn, Tatiana Moreno. Tell me, please, what is this conversation about? De que se trata this conversation? What is this conversation about? Hello. Hello, good evening. Uh, the conversation uh, about uh, the different activity, the, the person in the last weekend, for example, and new uh, a she uh, eat eating eating a uh, pizza with your friends and on Saturday and with your friends. Uh, uh -huh, yes uh, and dancing okay, Hold on. okay. and meal um uh and he is a uh, and at home. <laughs> stay stay home. He stay, stay home, home, right? Uh -huh. yeah. and, and what did what did he do? A text in in Spanish. Oh, I studied. Yeah, he studied, right? Uh -huh. Very good. Thank you so much. Do you have any question about vocabulary or something here in this conversation? Yes. Any question about something yes. about tell me please? Yes, teacher. What is thread? Treadmill. Oh, treadmill is like when you go to the gym, there is a machine where you like do this one. Yes. Okay. Thanks. Perfect. Okay. Again, this is about pass. So we're working with pass here. Yeah. Be careful with ending pronunciation with regular verbs. Stayed. Studied. Studied. Stayed. Okay. E the ending pronunciation with regular verse. Okay, so save save the conversation, please, everybody. And do me a favor, send the conversation on WhatsApp group, please, so we can have it over there. Yes, save, guarde la conversation. Please, tome la captura ahí, save it. And send the conversation on WhatsApp group so we can have it. We are going to practice in the breakout rooms. Right now, I'm gonna give you some times. So you practice in the breaker rooms. Yes. ¿Qué va a hacer en los breaker rooms? Well, practice. Yes. Hasta que le alcance el tiempo. Right? Si lo hizo una vez, luego change roles. Okay. That's you can do. 
cambia roles and then uh, do it one more time. Yes, escuche a sus partners cómo pronuncian so you can fix pronunciation. Yes, y no tenga miedo de equivocarse, right? It doesn't matter. You're learning. Keep saying, keep practicing. Okay, ready? Ready? Okie dokie, here we go. Give me a minute. I'm going to open the Reiki rooms. Um, okay, here we go. Okay, I will open the Reiki rooms. And the main room, Sala Principal, we are going to have, let me see. Uh, vamos a tener uh, Evers Perdomo, Marcos Alberto Palacio Herrera, Ronald Rafael Cruz Maya, Jenny Marisol Hernández de Guevara, you three, se, ustedes cuatro, please, se quedan en el main room, en la sala principal. Yes, Evers Perdomo, Marcos Alberto Palacio Herrera, Ronald Rafael Cruz Maya, and Jenny Marisol Hernández de Guevara. Ustedes en el main room, los demás, please. Join the breakout room so you can practice the conversation. Yes. So please, uh, Freddy, Jose, Jenny, join, please. Elisa, Jacqueline, Tiffany, Daniela, Janessi, Maria Vilma, please. Briseida, very good. Edwin, Edith, Juan, Milena, please join your partners. Janessi, please join. Maria Vilma, Elisa. Tiffany, oh Jesus, okay, Juan, puede unirse Juan, will you, oh, okay, eh, Milena, puede unirse with your partners in the breakout rooms, oh my gosh, no, okay, let me send this one to number seven, because it does an arms, okay, 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 Okay. Thank you, Jenny. Okay. Let's practice a little bit. Here we have the conversation. Take turns so you can practice, okay? Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, partners. We have to practice. Who wants to be the first? Who wants to be nailed? Ah, you know, first. Okay. Yeah. And Cara. Okay. 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 Jenny. Okay. Okay. If you are ready, practice. Okay, ¿quién comienza? Mm, Nicole. Luego, opciones eh, okay. So, what did you do last weekend, Cara? Oh, I had a great time. I'm sorry, Jenny. Your mic, your mic is off. Yes. That's okay. One more time from uh -huh. the beginning. Evers, please. So, excellent. I come in. So, what did you do last weekend, Cara? Oh, I had a great time. My friend and I had pizza on Saturday and then we all went dancing. How fun. Did you go to the training? No, with that, with then we went to that name place, Dawson. How about you? Did you go uh, anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's our Spanish test. Our test is today. I forgot about that. Don't worry. You always get an I. Now change roles, please. Excellent. Jenny. Hello. It's to beginning. To oh. 
Okay. So I uh, what did do you last weekend, Cara? Oh, I had a great time. My friends and I had pizza on Saturday and then we all went dancing. How fun did do you go to treadmill? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I don't go anywhere at weekend. I has a stage home and studied for today Spanish test. Our test is today? I forgot about that. Don't worry, you always had a an. Okay, okay thank you so much. Evers? Yes. And Milena? I'm here. Okay. Hello, Milena. No? Okay. Uh, Ronald? Present teacher. Don't forget that you can use your names, right? So you can say, so what did you do last weekend, uh, Ronald? Yeah? Okay. You can say that. Perfect. Perfect. Go ahead. I begin, begin. So what did okay. you last weekend, Cara? Oh, I had a great time. My friends and I had pizza on Saturday, and then we all went dancing. How oh, fun! Did you die? Did you go the treadmill? No, we didn't. We went to the to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere. I weekend I just stayed at home and studied for today Spanish test. Our test is today. I forgot about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. Okay. Change roles, please. Okay. So... What did you do last weekend, Cara? Oh, I had a great time. My friends and I had pizza on Saturday and the week all went dancing. How fun. Did you go to the treadmill? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you, did you go anywhere? No. I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Or oh, that is today. I forgot about that. Don't worry. You are you always get an A. Thanks. Thank you so okay. much, the two of you. Okay. So welcome the rest of your classmates. It's nice to have you one more time. I'm going to play the audio so you can listen on um, pronunciation, right? And you can check uh, also that. And then I will have a few participations uh, on this one, okay? So uh, let's listen and read. Unit seven, we went dancing. Page 44, exercise two, conversation. What did you do last weekend? Part A. Listen and practice. So what did you do last weekend, Kara? Oh, I had a great time. My friends and I had pizza on Saturday, and then we all went dancing. How fun. Did you go to the treadmill? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our test is today? I forgot about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. Unit 7. We went dancing. Page 44. Exercise 2. Conversation. What did you do last weekend? Part A. Listen and practice. 
So what did you do last weekend, Kara? Oh, I had a great time. My friends and I had pizza on Saturday, and then we all went dancing. How fun. Did you go to the treadmill? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our test is today? I forgot about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. Okay, so thank you so much. We're going to have some participations in here. Uh, Daniela, you are going to be Cara. Uh, your partner is going to be Jacqueline Vanessa Rodriguez. You are going to be Neil. And then you switch roles. Yep. Ready? Let's begin. So what did you do last weekend, Cara? Oh, I had a great time. My friends and I had pizza on Saturday, and then we all went dancing. How fun. Did you go to the trail mill? No, we didn't. We went to the new place downtown. And how about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere the whole weekend. I just stayed at home and decided for today's Spanish test. Our test is today? I forgot about that. Don't worry, you always get an A. So, what did you do last weekend, Cara? Oh, I had a great time. My friends and I had pizza on Saturday, and then we all went dancing. How fun. Did you go to the treadmill? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our test is today? I forgot about that. Don't worry, you always get an A. Thank you so much, that was perfect. Freddy, Alberto, Paz, you are going to be near. Claudia, Yesenia, Flores, you are Cara, and then you switch roles. Uh, so what did you do last weekend, Cara? Oh, I had a great time. My friends and I had a pizza on Saturday, and then, we all went dancing. How fun! Did you go to the treadmill? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home uh, and studied for today's Spanish test. Our test is today? I forgot about that. Don't worry, you always get aim. Okay, now I'm new. So, <laughs> do last weekend, Cara? Oh, I had a great time. My friends and I had pizza on Saturday. And then we all went dancing. How fun. Did you go to the treadmill? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No. I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and I studied for today's Spanish test. Our test is today. I forgot about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. Thank you so much. Very good. Just don't forget at the end. Our test is today. Our test is today. Perfect. Ana Cristina de Pe Peña de Paz. You are Cara and Sandra Noemi Pimentel. You are Neil. And then you switch roles. Let's begin. Uh, sorry. So what did you do last week, Cara? Oh, I had a great time. My friend and I had pizza on Saturday. And then we all get dancing. Oh, fun. Did you go to train me? No, we didn't. We went to that new place on town. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere. All week, I used to stay at home and study 
for today Spanish test? Oh, this is today. I forgot about that. Don't worry, you always get an eight. So that did that did you do last weekend, Cara? Oh, I had a great time. My friends and I had pizza on Saturday, and then we all went dancing. How fun! Did you go to the treadmill? No, we didn't. We went to the new place, downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our test is today. I forgot about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. Thank you so much. That was very good. And Maria Vilma Cortez, you are Cara. Your partner is going to be Liliana del Transito. You are Neil, Liliana. Okay, teacher. Perfect. So, Let's what begin. did so what did you do last weekend, Cara? Oh, I had a great time, my friend. And I had pizza on Saturday, and they we I went dancing. How oh, fun! Did you go to the trail me? No, we didn't. We went. To that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere. All weekend, I just stay home and study for today's Spanish test. Oh, test is today. I forgot about that. Don't worry. You always had an A. So, what did you do last weekend, Cara? Oh, I had a good time. My friends and I had pizza on Saturday and then we all went dancing. How come? Did you do the driving? No, we didn't. We went to training's place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere at weekend. I just stayed home and study for today's Spanish test. Our test is today. I thought about that. Don't worry, you always get at A. Thank you so much. Very good. So we have studied, uh, forgot, we all went dancing. Okay, let me take the attendance, people. Give me some time so I can take it. When you hear your name, say present or I'm here, okay? Okay, teacher. Perfect. Uh, let's begin with Ana Cristina Peña de Paz. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Good evening. Nice to have you. Blanca Isolina Guzman Cruz. I'm here. Wonderful. Nice to have you. Briseida Janet Garcia de Crespin. Briseida Janet Garcia de Crespin. No, she isn't. Cindy Stephanie Ramirez Rodriguez. Present teacher. Good evening. Nice to have you. Claudia Yesenia Flores de Galdames. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Welcome. Daniela Mercedes Olivares Recinos. Present teacher. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you. Evers Ernesto Perdomo Álvarez. Present. Thank you so much. Welcome. Edith Carolina Rivera de Segundo. Present. Thank you so much. Good evening. Edwin Benjamin Sánchez Portillo. Edwin Benjamin Sánchez Portillo. No, he isn't. Elisa Maria Garcia de Ruiz. Present. Thank you so much. Good evening. Freddy Alberto Paz Carrillo. Present teacher. Welcome. Nice to have you. Ileana Mariel Ar Alvarado Menjibar. Iliana Mariel Alvarado Menjibar. No, she isn't. Janessi Alexandra López Portillo. Present. 
Thank you so much. Jacqueline Vanessa Rodriguez Sanchez. Present teacher. Good evening. Janie Lisette Escobar Lucero. Janie Lisette Escobar Lucero. No, she isn't. Jorge Mauricio Gutierrez Alfaro. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Good evening. Jose Alcides Leiva Ibarra. Present teacher. Welcome. Nice to have you. Jocelyn Tatiana Moreno Mercado. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Juan Jose Garcia Mendez. Present teacher. Nice Good to evening. have you one more time. Good evening. Liliana del Tránsito Aguilar Juárez. Present teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Marcos Alberto Palacios Herrera. Thank present. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Maria Vilma Cortez Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you. Milena de Los Angeles Aragón Pleites. Milena de Los Angeles Aragón Pleites. No, she isn't. Ronald Rafael Cruz Amaya. Present teacher. Good evening. Nice to have you. Sandra Noemi Pimentel Álvarez. Present. Thank you and welcome. Santos Guadalupe Ruiz Ventura. I'm here. Wonderful. Nice to have you. Tiffany Guadalupe Martinez Mendez. Present. Thank you. Good evening. Jenny Lisbeth Tolosa Cortez. Mm -hmm. Jenny. Here. Thank you, Jenny. Welcome. Good evening. Jenny Marisol Hernández de Guevara. Present teacher. Good evening. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you. Voy a revisar el chat on soon really quick por los que pues tienen problemas con el micrófono. Okay, Briseida. Let me check here. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, let me see who else. Uh, Jenny Marisol Hernández. Okay, let me check. No creo que Jenny, you answer right. Present teacher. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. Okay. Because you were right in the chat. Uh, Juan Jose, thank you so much, Juan. Um, okay. Okay, Briseida, thank you. Edwin, okay, Edwin, ahorita, just give me a minute. Edwin, Edwin. Okay, let me check. Edwin, thank you so much. Yes. Siempre voy a revisar el chat después que pase la asistencia. Right? En el caso está acá, usted siempre escribe ahí en el chat, um, soon, so we can have a record of your attendance. Yes. Okay, okay. Thank you. So look, give me, give me a minute, please. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Just give me a minute, please. Okay. Let me see. Okay, so I need to. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. Give me a minute, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, Jesus, what is this thing? This one goes here, and this one goes here. Just give me a minute, because I'm fixing something here really quick. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, I think it's this one. Okay, I think it's this one. Okay. Now save it. Just give me a minute, please. I'm, I'm just fixing something here. Okay. We're going to watch a video related to the grammar part. As you may know, we're working with a past tense of verb to be, and we're gonna take a look of what is this thing about. Let's listen and watch, okay? In this session, participants will study the past of be. Questions and short answers will be taught. Hello, nice to have you back. I'll make reference of the past of the verb be. Let's start. 
Past of B. Were you in Hawaii? Yes, I was. Was the weather okay? No, it wasn't. Were you and your cousin on vacation? Yes, we were. Were your parents there? No, they weren't. How long were you away? I was away for a week. How was your vacation? It was excellent. Contractions. Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. The past of be am and is was are were. To ask questions using the past of be, we do it this way. Was were plus subject plus complement plus question mark. Were you my student? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was she sad? Yes, she was. No, she wasn't. Were they late? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Remember, we used be to express feelings, conditions, states, and descriptions, either in present or past. Now you try answering the following questions. Were you my student before? Were you happy yesterday? Were you late this morning? In this session, for so here we have the past tense of the verb to be, right? As you may know, what is verb to be in present, Claudia? Excuse me, teacher. What is verb to be in present? Cero estar. Oh, oh yes. Can you tell me uh, in English, please? Am um, is. <laughs> In R. Very good. Okay, so this is the present, right? Okay. Here we have we have the present of the verb to be. If you see, am um, is. So with these two, we use was, right? And with R, which is the plural, we're gonna use a where. Okay. So here we have the question. Is you notice, right? Were you in California? Yes, I was. Remember that you goes with are, so that means that why we are using where. Was the weather okay? No, it wasn't. Were you, one more time, were your parents? Parents is singular or plural? Plural. Exactly. Plural. Because it's plural, we're going to work with where. where. Okay. Oh, How hi. long were you? One more time, we have you. And how was your vacation? Okay. Vacation is uncountable here. So we're going to work with was. Okay. Also in the answer, we're going to have it was. I was. This one is plural. They weren't. We were. It is singular. It is singular, so we're going to have was. I was. And here we have the contractions, right? You can say was not, were not, or you can use wasn't or weren't. Yes? Okay. Any question about this? Uh, una question. Yes. Um, and dice que presente es... And is, y utilizaremos was. Yes. Y en esa que está it, it was. Oh, yes. ¿Cuál es el uh -huh. verb to be? And... ¿Cuál es el verb to be en presente que va con el pronombre it? Is. Is. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Is. Exactly, Ana. Entonces, is, right? Este es present or past, Ana. Present. Exactly. Ahora yo lo voy a poner en paz, right? It was. Yes. Ok. No, no sé si entendí la, la, la respuesta. Está clara. Si no, continuamos. No worry. Ok. Yes. Uh -huh. Es que yo entiendo que el it es para cosas o, o para cosas. Uh -huh. Animales. Animales. Para ciudades. Eh, pero cuando para... aquí me confundo cuando habla que solo present and is. 
me dice que solo como para dos. Am, is. Exacto. Esos son los dos verbs to be, right? Esos son los dos verbs to be. Acuérdese que el pronombre I ocupo am, right? Yes. I am. Yes. Ok. Ahora con el sí. pronoun he is. She is. It is. De la tercera persona. Exacto. Ok. Uh -huh. Ahora, con uh -huh. todos estos, uh -huh. ok, yo voy a utilizar was. Was. Exacto. Ahora, okay. here in the example, uh -huh. dice, how was your vacation? Estamos hablando de vacation, ¿vale? Right? Entonces, porque yo ya no quiero decir vacation, digo, it was. Ok. Yes. Ahora, el it yes. lo puedo utilizar para animals, cosas, ciudades, ideas, ok, uh, cosas abstractas sometimes, por ejemplo, vacation, right, o vacation, you, I can use it, ok, entonces, all of these ones. Y cuando no se, y cuando no se especifica género también. Eh, cuando es un bebé, right, yes, right, no sabemos el género del, del, del baby, right, entonces podemos utilizar, oh, it, yes, what is it, oh, is a boy, yes, right. Eh, ok, thank you. Perfect, perfect, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, give me a minute. Yes. Um, my partner Edwin has a question on the chat. Oh, thank you. Okay. Yes, Edwin, it's correct. It's the same. It's the same way. Where, where? So sometimes we have, where were you yesterday? Yes. Sometimes we have this question, right? Yes. Okay. Cuando, cuando uh, llega a casa, right? Su esposa le pregunta, mm -hmm. where, 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 oh, I'm sorry. You yesterday. Mm -hmm. Right? See? Viene your wife or your husband y le pregunta, excuse me, where were you yesterday? So the pronunciation is quite the same, yeah? So how do you answer this question, uh, Daniela? Where were you yesterday? I was in class. Oh, perfect. I was in class. Yes, very good, you see? Where were you yesterday? Yes, Edwin, perfect. Um, okay, let me stop. I'm gonna stop sharing so I can delete everything and I need to like, um, uh, carry on with this one. Okay, we're gonna have hey. a bit of practice. Here we have rewrite sentences, find, uh, find another way of, uh, another way to write sentence using was, wasn't, where or where in each word in parentheses. For example, Bruno didn't come to class yesterday. So we have in class. Bruno wasn't in class yesterday. So we're gonna rewrite the sentence, but we're gonna use was, wasn't, where, or wherein, and we're gonna use the information in parentheses. Okay? Yes. Uh, let's begin with uh, Jacqueline, Vanessa, tell me. Number two, Jacqueline, please. Uh, let me see. He didn't. No, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, he. You need to change he this. Wasn't. Oh, this is affirmative or negative sentence. Oh, I, I guess I thought that. No, no, I'm, I'm asking you. That's affirmative or negative? Yes, it's affirmative. Oh, so okay. that's why. It, it will be, he was uh -huh, continue. working all day. Oh, okay. He was at work or he was working all day? He was working at work all day. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Okay. Really? He, he <laughs> was, 
he was, that is correct. And we are gonna use the information in parentheses, at work, okay? At work all day, okay? Uh, let me tell you why. You said me dijo he was at working all day. He was at work, uh, he was working all day at work, right? Yes? I mean, that is partially correct because that's past continuous, but past continuous lo ocupamos en otro escenario. Not right now. Ahorita solo estamos viendo el past tense of the verb to be que es ser o estar en pasado. Yes? Sí? So, yo puedo decir, oh, he was at work. ¿Dónde estuvo? At work. Wow. En trabajo okay, all day. Perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. Uh, let's work with the next one. Volunteers for number three. Volunteers with number three. Anybody? Yeah. Uh-huh. Anybody? Oh, thank anyone, you, Claudia. Thank anyone, you, Claudia. Anyone. Claudia, thank you. Okay. And Bruno and his co-workers were at work on Saturday too. Perfect. Thank you so much. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Okay. Very good. I'm sorry. Okay. So we have Bruno, you tell me. And his co-workers um, were, remember, plural, very good, at work on Saturday. Oh, Saturday too. Oh, we have a comma, right, I guess. Okie dokie. Look at this one, right? Lee? Yes? Una pregunta. His Co-workers, que es? Como compañero, oh, de trabajo. Exactly. Possessive adjectives. Mm -hmm. uh, ok. Bruno okay. and his, sus. Ajá, y su, su, ah, sí, sus compañeros. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Very good. <laughs> Where, entonces, what are we doing? Changing. If you see, tenemos worked. Here we have where. So we are changing the verb. Yes. And writing verb to be, past tense. Okay. Thank you so much. Freddy, number four, please. Thank you. Okay. They, they didn't go to work on Sunday. Um, they, um, uh, they didn't go. They didn't go. Do you need help? Me, uh, teacher. Yes. Okay, please. Somebody said me. <coughs> they weren't go to work on Sunday. Oh, very good. They weren't. That is correct. They weren't. They weren't go to work on Sunday. Oh, I'm sorry. That is incorrect. They weren't. Yes. They weren't. Yes. Okay. At, at the board. Oh, at work, very good. On Sunday, very good. That one is correct. They weren't at work on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Yes, this one is, is better, right? They weren't at work on Sunday. Yep, they weren't at work on Sunday. Very good, thank you. Uh, somebody wrote in the chat. Yes, Edwin, that is correct, very good. What about number five? Mm -hmm. What do we have in number five? Anybody? Volunteers? Uh, yo. Okay, Santos. Guadalupe, por favor. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Guadalupe. Gracias. Okay. Sería, did Bruno was stay okay. at home on Sunday? Okay. Very good. Mm, but we need to change. This is a question, right, Santos? Hola. This is a question, right, Guadalupe? Uh huh, sí. Okay, mira cómo se llama. Ah, sí, hacemos... sí, <laughs> Yes, very good. Yes, uh huh. Okay, entonces sería. Um, was. Very good, continue. Bruno stay. No, no, no stay, right? No stay. ¿Cómo? 
No stay. Was Bruno? Uh -huh. Was Bruno at home on Sunday? Oh, very good. There you go. Okay, was Bruno? At home. Oh, thank you. Okay, was uh, Bruno at home on Sunday, right? On Sunday. Yeah. Ajá, uh -huh. y, y stay lo quitamos entonces. Exactly, porque ya tengo el verbo was. Uh -huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Entonces, lo que, what are you doing is cambiando los verbs por el verb to be, que es was or were. Yep. Uh, y también el did, ¿verdad? Exactly, because Lo I have was. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. Uh -huh. Thank Perfect. you. Was Bruno at home on Sunday? Yay, that's very good. Thank you. Who's next one? Number six. Thank you, Jocelyn. Um, where, 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 where Bruno got on Sunday? Eh, no go. No go. Oh, solo where, where Bruno on Sunday. Very good. Perfect. Yes. Where, where, where Bruno, Bruno on, on Sunday. Sunday. Yay. You got it. Where were Bruno on Sunday? Yeah. Perfect. Lee. Yes. Tell me. Y esas dos pronunciaciones suenan similar, ¿verdad? Exactly. Hay algún cambio? Exactly, Guadalupe. It's quite where, the same. Where. Mm -hmm. It's the okay. same. Where, where. Yeah, it's not <laughs> Rihanna's song, right? But it's like where, where, okay? Yeah. Thank you. What about Hi. number seven? What about number seven? Mm -hmm. Anybody? And remember, this is about trying, so don't um, worry. Joe, help. Um, okay, seven? Anna. Okay, very good, Anna. Thank oh, you. Okay. Um, where? Uh, this where... is a question or a sentence? Uh, sentence. Oh, very good. It's a sentence. So? Okay. He, uh, entonces his, um, he and his brother uh -huh. were going to a baseball game. Where? No se dice toda completa. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Oh, where? Este, uh -huh. uh, where? Um, como, uh -huh. voy a poner primero where. Yes. Like he where... and his he and his brothers were at the basketball game. Where he and his brother game. No, I'm sorry. At the beginning is correct. At the beginning, he and his brothers. Okay. He and his brother were. Exactly. Where? Where again? Eh, o ya no. no se pone el again. Exactly. Ya no went. Porque no, ya ocupó where. where. No. Uh -huh. Ahora, the information uh, in parentheses. Where, where a baseball game. Exactly. At a baseball. Oh, where, uh -huh. at a baseball game. Exactly. Yes. Right. He and okay. his friends were at a baseball game. Very good, Anna. Great job. Fantastic. Perfect. Okay. Um, somebody else with the last one, number eight? Me, teacher. Please go ahead. They were at the park until seven. Okay. Thank you. They were at the park. Uh, until seven. Okay, okay. Um, teacher, I have a question. Oh, tell me. Go ahead. Why in the sentence six was the bird beware with Bruno? I mean, uh, for oh, yes. uh, that is correct. Thank you. En la oración cinco usamos was. That is perfect. Thank you. Very good. Beautiful. So we're going to have where was. Okay. Bruno on Sunday. Yay. That's good. I love it. Okay. Where was Bruno on Sunday? Daniela, thank you. 
Hi, um, I have a question too. Yep. Um, when when we gonna use was and did? I mean, the sentence five. That mean this means the same, right? Exactly. It's just when we gonna use that? I mean, did like we're gonna Bruno use or did? was Bruno? Uh huh. We're gonna use did. This one did. Cuando tengamos or the verb. Yes. So did siempre va acompañado of another verb. Like a stay. For example, didn't come. Yes. Did Bruno go? So did go. Y el and, was and where van solos. Yes. And in a situation we can use um any of both or well it depends one. on the context it depends on the context okay yes see you you, you, you want to say did bruno stay home on sunday that is good if you want to say was bruno at home on sunday is the same thing yeah so okay. you can use both of them if you want okay yeah perfect thanks wonderful people i'm sorry it's time to go good night take care and we will see you tomorrow bye-bye Thank you. Bye. My pleasure. Anytime. Bye. Bye.